So in array, we have already uh, seen that it is group of consecutive memory location, same name and type. So same name and type already is uh, shown you. Uh, to refer an element, you can specify AI, BI, etc. So let us see what do we understand by consecutive memory location. So here we know that the size of integer is four byte. OK, so this is one array declared as integer. So now and the size is 10 means array similar element you can store up to 10. So up to 10 means 10 minus one because it starts from zero to like a zero. A1 up to A10 minus 1. Fine. Now come to the uh, access of address location. So address of A percent I. This A percent I will print simply A as it is. Whatever written in yellow, it will be printed as it is. And this I, this is current for loop. So this will be printed here. Suppose for 0 i equals to 0 it will print a0 like here a0 a0 is stored at this location okay this is the location 70th location now come to next location because one integer takes four byte so plus four will give you next location then again the plus four will give you the next location yes or no and why 7c is coming i will show you 78 79 then it is 7a okay 7b and 7c if you see so this is exactly four location from 78 so this will require one integer byte and the next integer byte will start from 7c 7d okay 7e then uh, 7f and after that 80 will come. So this is next byte started from 7 uh, C and then 80 will come. Fine. Yes or no? So this is written in hexadecimal notation. Any doubt related with this? Anyone? Gayatri, you have any doubt related with this? No, sir. No, fine. So initializers already told you and here there are different types of initializer. OK, first initialization if the number of elements are less. If the number of elements are less means we are pointing for. The size of array is. Five element. And we are initializing, initializing how many elements? Only three elements. Now, what will happen? Yesterday I told that this type of declaration is not possible, but today I had seen with compiler, so it will automatically allocate two, seven, eight, and the remaining element will be awarded a zero. OK, so this is the way if the number of elements are less means if the number of initialized elements are less. Now come to next. If we access the array, then this will be the output. Now come to if the number of element is exactly equals to one. So here exactly equals to one number of element. So again, the same thing will happen. The first element will be allocated. OK, and all other will be declared as or initialized as all other. Initialize. As zero. Or two zero fine. Now come to next. If the number of elements are more, if the number of elements are more, then what will happen? So here you can see that 5, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Up to this, everything is OK. Now for this, it will be discarded. OK. 
so it will uh, give one warning and actually the output is wrongly created here because this is address but actual output will be like so due to this if i am uh, modifying this statement to printf slash n a person d equals to person d comma i and comma a i then what will be the output then the output will be गौरव सांगवान आपके घर की भी आवाज आ रही है यहाँ पर बढ़ाएगी ये हॉन तो देख पूरी देखी क्या दी हो रही देख चाल पड़ी नतीजा ये ब्लड जब भी हमारी है ना हमारी है ना हमारी है ना विश कुछ भी उस पे वो तो मेरा वेयर कंट्रोल तो करने नहीं मिलता है तो देख लिया पाप की ना लड़ाई करांगे एक बार इन चीज़ सारे त्याग ती काट दांगे अब बाबान में लड़ाई करांगे ओके सो नाउ व्हाट विल बी द आउटपुट विल बी द फर्स्ट एलिमेंट इस टू नेक्स्ट एलिमेंट इस � Next element is four, then five, then six. So this will be the output, and all other will be discarded. All other will be discarded. Fine. So let us see this example once again uh, to rectify. Uh, Sorry for the interruption. 
actually internet was disconnected my wi-fi was disconnected now once again so let us see one example okay integer a uh, 5 will be the array and it is initialized as uh, yes here it is not working well reload So I'm printing here. So A5 will be initialized to 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 2, 3. OK, and now. I am going to call for loop. For. Integer I equals to. The screen is not visible, I think. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. Yes, thank you, thank you. Because it was reconnected, that's why it is not visible. Let me show you. Yes, I is less than five, and I plus plus. Okay, and then I am going to print uh, slash n. This a is a. Okay, and then I whatever variable is there, so it is coming inside that person d. And then arrow mark I'm going to give you and then person D once again. So let me write uh, what I need to print a I. OK, so because this is a single statement for loop, so there is no problem of uh, curly brace. Now if I'm running, so it is showing one warning, one error is generated because of this semicolon. Now it will run and it will generate one warning uh, two warnings are generated. It says and AI. Is there any problem? Or, oh yes, correct. Here I am now. So here you can see that it it is able to access the elements three, four, five, six, okay, seven. But if uh, let us check for the others. If I am having the size is as nine, then you can see what you can see in this example. Anyone is interested to code this example? Is this screen uh, clearly visible to you? Yes, sir. Now yes. anyone if you want to quote anything. Anything you have observed here? So this is very important and let me delete this thing and explain. Using some other example. If the elements are more. Mm, less is OK. One is OK but more is incorrect. So anyone, any clue, any special thing you have seen? No observation. So let me explain either you so very sincere is very important. OK, so like Kesha Biani has turned on his mic and all the backgrounds are coming, but his voice is not coming. Now come to this example. This is a uh, number of elements are more. OK, 
beyond the limit. So up to limit, up to given limit, it will print correct output. Fine. And here some random output will be printed. See, uh, this can be your examination question also. OK, what will be the output of this code? And what will be the output of this code in line number five or etc? Suppose again the more number of elements has been initialized more number of elements initialize but it will generate warning okay will generate warning it will also generate the warning now but correct output for correct correct output for right number of parameters Sir, you are writing. My writing is not visible. My OK. Mm. Yes. Now is it visible? Yes, Fine. So this is very important observation here. All are correct. Correct output fine here up to four output is correct, but for these many things the output will be any random number here. We have access the correct number means this is our access. So access is correct. That's why the output is also correct. Fine. Any doubt? So now uh, it is your turn to write a program. Write a program which will take input from user and you need to reverse the order. OK, like uh, before this, I want to show you array declaration errors also. Array declaration errors. So how array uh, will generate error? So yesterday I had quoted one example that one person is saying that I had declared this array using n because I am entering. I'm going to enter this in. So this will automatically generate error because this must this number must be known before this number must be known before compiling the program. So that's why two errors are generated. OK, this and and second undeclared identifier. So I need to write integer n over here. Now come to next integer n equals to five is created. Fine. Uh, in previous example, you can say that you have not declared any integer n. So this is the problem. Yes, of course. Now I had declared and the number of course number is also declared. OK, number is also declared. Now what will happen? It will again generate 
one error that variable size object may not be initialized. OK, so I can ask the question. What error will be um, given by the program after compilation? OK, so this is not a syntax error. This is logical error, logical kind of error. Or yes, of course, it is a compiler error, compilation error. OK, now how do we rectify this program? <coughs> Recently, I told you that this must be a number. Now number is also available. So what is the problem? Problem is that we need to declare this variable as constant. OK, now constant variable is declared here. Constant integer is declared here. Now it will work perfectly. There will be no error. Nothing will be coming and the output will also be correct. Any doubt? Let me revise the things. Declaration error without declaring the variable and the uh, value of n. Here we have declared, but it is not constant. And now if we declare with constant, then it will work perfectly. There is one more declaration, OK? And this declaration is recommended. This is not recommended. Although correct. Fine. Why? Because uh, we have declared the size and sometimes we need to access the variable. So to overcome this type of problem, we define one variable using define keyword. Define keyword is very powerful. So using define, you can define the size of uh, variable. So this name is size. You can put any name. I had uh, taken size as an uh, variable and its value is 100. You may ask one question that why this uh, defined after defined why you are putting uh, capital letters, all capital letters. So the answer is very simple to understand or to identify between the variable which are declared inside main program declared by user and uh, means to distinguish between the preprocessor variable and post processor post processing variable. OK. So all these things are post processing variable declared by user and it is like a normal and this is for substituting particular value. So now this size of array is 100, but you can declare three variables. You can access all other variables. I had access five variables. OK, I had access five variables. So now this is variable array. Variable. Size array. And you can vary the size of array from 1 to 100. Not beyond this. After 100, it will print garbage value. Fine. So this we will declare, but the disadvantage of this uh, kind of declaration will take or waste memory. Fine. So this is the uh, and that's why the new uh, kind of thing that is pointer will be coming into existence after completion of this chapter. This program I had explained you yesterday. OK, so if you uh, an output also shown by me. And uh, this program, this program bhi bata diya tha maine. Yes, anyone please comment on this. Yes, sir, but that yet. Fine. And up to this place. We will we have discussed now come to examples using arrays. So character array. Uh, but before this. You need to write a program for palindrome. What is palindrome?
anyone no one has any idea yes so words, words like level at madam yes if we read the word reverse then uh, the forward and reverse word will uh, be same like if we reverse this word then also the same word will be coming yes or no so there are several words which you can say that uh, it is a palindrome or not but we will see the example later on let us discuss character arrays a string first is really a static array of character character arrays can be initialized using a string literals like this okay this is one type of initialization then the null character will terminate the string null character means whenever you put the enter symbol automatically it adds null symbol so when you declare this this will be equivalent to this character string one and this is empty because we don't know uh, we have not counted the number of elements inside that array and you must remember that the last thing must be slash zero okay this don't forget about so this is slash zero can access individual character if you are accessing this then it will access zero one two three means this character will be access fine array name is address of array array name is the address of array so and is not needed and is not needed for scanf now and is not needed for a scanner in this particular case so like a scanf percent as string 2 just if you are uh, accessing uh, array of characters if single character is there then you need to write for single character for single character you need to use ampersand but for multiple characters like for a string give me a second so here you can see uh, this ampersand character is uh, required but for array of string it is not required just write percent c in combination with the name of array and the name of array okay the name of array only without a square without bracket got it or not fine and reads character until void space encountered see if you are entering any number uh, let us and can write beyond end of array be careful okay so let us see the example related with this uh, query so i am having the same program written and uh, let me initialize character uh character name to fine and if you want to access uh, this is one char uh, character name character 
class. Oh, class is a keyword. So let us not write this. This we need to scan. Huh? So let me write four only or even three. Now the question will ask by the user what question will ask enter your name okay enter your name then scanf scanf now scanf statement is very straightforward just night to uh, just you need to write percent c or uh, no percent s okay and after that just write the name fine and then you can print the name and let me delete all other things print f percent s slash n and slash n after this also and what you are going to print name fine just write name only if we run this program one error will come because of the semicolon now enter your name i am entering my name as kapil fine so the output is also coming like couple and uh, this is wrong answer actually this will print only k a p but uh, it is printing so let us print the name for this will also give you So due to segmentation fault, it will be exit. OK, let us not discuss on this because it may be very uh, from compiler to compiler. So only discuss about this. What will happen if I'm writing couple? Fine. So now what will be printed by this only couple? because it will take the uh, it will read up to white space as soon as white space will come it will automatically discard the whole thing and uh, let us write uh, let us try to write with double quote also but i think uh, double quote will not, not help So here you can see uh, now is it clear to you how do we access the array variable? Yes or no? Just tell me, please tell me.
So these are our output. Now let me explain each output in detail. So here the question is asked. Now let us see the output of. And there are two different ways of writing into an array. OK, let us use another way. This is very simplest uh, kind of way. Just I am writing print uh, print your name and using percent C. I can also enter the name. Uh, let us write the uh, for loop for. I is less than uh, I equals to zero. I integer I equals to zero. I is less than or equals to 10, uh, 5, and I plus plus. Or even I can write, uh, let us say 10. I can write I plus plus. Fine. Now it will enter, scan the array using percent C. And we need to put name, comma, I. OK, after that, an address of address of name, comma, I. Because we are using the character. Fine. Now here you can see that it will uh, use. Yes. Sir, our minor is at next class. Mein. Midterm, sir. Midterm? Midterm, mein, sir. Our ugly class, mein, sir. We can leave it. Just one minute. Ho so now, if we run this program, so using scanf, you can also scan the name. So let me write couple here. OK, and then. Because the loop is running for 10 times now, this will be the answer. This will be the answer. One random character will be printed and why this is printed. I will explain you tomorrow. Fine. So there are two different ways to use the. Uh, to enter the variables into array of character. So either of the way you can use fine. If you have any doubt, you can ask, you can comment on post. So now I'm downloading the attendance list. Any question? Fine. So thank you very much. Have a nice day. Have a nice time. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.